Hello all my Holomaniacs out there, welcome back to YouTube, and I have with me a very special guest, Mr. Tony Bancroft! Yeah! yeah. Hi everybody, <laughs> thanks for having me here today. For those of you guys who don't know who Tony is, let me just clarify a few things, he is amazing. And he created Pumba, which is amazing. Hakuna Matata! Yep, created Kronk and directed Mulan! Yeah! So... Dude, it's, it's, it's so great to have you here, man. Thanks it's for fantastic. pulling me off the street. I'm glad to be here with you. <laughs> Brian, I, don't, I have no idea what we're doing. What, what's, what, what, I'm nervous. What are we doing now? <laughs> we're going to be doing the Disney Song Challenge. For those of you guys who don't know what that is, that means we're going to take a song from Disney and we're going to try to go uh, verse by verse through the whole thing to see if we can remember the whole oh, thing. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm so horrible at this. That's okay, that's okay. I worked okay. on the films years ago, so my apologies to the lyricists and writers of these songs that we're about to butcher. Do we want to stick with Mulan? Yeah, first? yeah, let's go for Mulan. Let's start let's, with Mulan. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. <laughs> Make a man out of you. I'm Make ready. a man out of you. Okay, you want me to start? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Did they send me daughters? When I asked for sons, you're the saddest bunch I ever met, but you can bet before we're through. Listen, guys, <laughs> I'll make a man out of you. <laughs> you were almost there. You were almost there. <laughs> Mr. I'll make a man out of you. You sound like a, you do a good Donny Osmond, though. I well, guess. thank you. Thank Donnie you. Donny would be proud. And then it's... Uh, be a man. Oh, no, we've got another verse oh. before that. <laughs> <laughs> Tranquil as a forest, but on fire within. Did they send me daughters <laughs> when I asked for men? Something, something, something. Once you find your center, then you're sure to win. That's it! There we go! I like the sound of this song. We should put it in a movie. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I think it'd be a big hit. And this be a man, right? You must be swift as a coursing rib. Be a man. You must be with all the force of a great typhoon. Be a man. With all the sanctification. <laughs> of, with all the strength of a raging fire. Mysterious, Mysterious as the dark side of the moon. moon. Once you find your <laughs> Sean use a big aggressive guy so watch out he'll kick your butt <laughs> Can that be the real lyrics? Please can I that be the real it lyrics? It is, isn't it? It just came to me. I must be I've heard it somewhere. Or maybe that was the version at the rap party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Be a man, we must, must be swift as a coursing river, with all the force of a great typhoon, with all the strength of a raging fire, mysterious as the dark side of the moon. We got it! We got that part. We got it! All right. Woo! That was terrible. Why didn't you just <laughs> sing this on your own? You know all the words. Well, I have an unfair advantage because at the store that I work at, we play these songs over oh, and over yes, and over. That's right, <laughs> yes. But yeah, the fun fun fact about that song, Matthew Wilder, who was our, uh, the music guy on there, it was David Zippel who wrote the lyrics. Matthew did the music. Matthew mm -hmm. was the sound alike that we tried for Ling, and it stuck. He did the demo, and then we just loved it so much, we kept him on as Ling. And it is a sound like doing uh, Mushu because Eddie Murphy didn't want to do that, even though he does sing. Is it the same guy who came and did Mushu from Mulan 2? Yeah. Oh, same it was. Guy. All right. Same guy. I think we should do another song now. I did Pumba in The Lion King, so I kind of know Hakuna Matata, even though that was 1993, 4. Yeah. Do you want me to take Timon's line? Can you take Pumba's line? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase! Hakuna Matata ain't no passing grace. It means, means no worries. worries. Together for the, the rest, rest of your days. days. Then it's together. It's a problem-free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. 
Oh, when he know. was a young warthog. When I was a young warthog. Very nice. <laughs> Thanks. He, he found, found his, his aroma oh. lacked a certain appeal. He could clear the savannah after every meal. I'm a sensitive guy. <laughs> Even so, though, uh, now I'm sick, thick skin. <laughs> that was the fart. Oh, yeah. And it hurts. When I when he stood down, when I actually animated this scene, and oh, the shame! He was ashamed. I thought of changing my name. Oh, what's in a name? Well, then I got downhearted. How did you feel? Every time that I Pumba, not in front of the kids. Oh, sorry. It's a problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> well, that one was much better. I gotta say. That one went that's much better. Good job. Well, all right, that's, all right. Woo. The, the bit of trivia on that one is that whole log sequence, there used to be a lot longer, uh, there was other scenes and stuff, and it wasn't until we went into animation that they changed it to be really just a very simple cross dissolve from them being young to growing up, of course. There's a much longer transition involving scenes throughout the, the whole movie, or sorry, wow. the, the whole sequence, the whole song. But ultimately they decided, well, I'll just do it in one scene. There you go. Right on the log. And now it's lived in infamy on in the internet as now the magic log sequence. The magic log sequence. And the log doesn't grow old at all. That's what I love about it. <laughs> Trying to think of another song that would, did you animate Cogsworth at all and be our guest? For that sequence? Uh, yeah. yeah. You did? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I was a very junior animator on that, and I did the jello scene when, when uh, Cogsworth Oh, when he fell in the jello. Yeah, because I was an, uh, newly married at the time, and my wife, I told her, I need to study jello. I got to figure out how it reacts and moves and stuff. So, what was she thinking that as soon as you get married, I have to study jello? <laughs> yeah, she thought, <laughs> She thought, what the heck do you do for a living? She's what did like, I what? get myself into? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Want me to start? Yeah, always. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ma chère mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. And now we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest. Be our guest. Let our service be the test. Very close. Soup de jar. Crepe Suzette. Oh, all reserves. <laughs> so go on and get your mopeds and go on the trips and be our guest. We are guests. Guest. Be, be our guest. guest. And it's like, he said, beef rangoon, cheese souffle, pie and pudding on flambe. We'll prepare yeah. and serve with flair a culinary cabaret. <laughs> we tell jokes, we do tricks with my fellow candlesticks. And it's all in perfect taste that you can bet. Go on and grab your glass and take it really fast and be our guest. We are guests, be our guests. Flabby, fat, and lazy. You walked in and oops and daisy. Well, that's the part I animated in the Jello. I remembered it. Can't yeah, uh, I, I I can't I can't remember the rest. That's of okay. It. That's okay. Remember. We're we're up, we're having fun here. This, we're having fun this here. is fun. All right. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, feel free to if you've got anything coming up or you've got anything you're trying to. I'm finishing up a movie right now called Animal Crackers. It'll be out in a theater near you next year, probably. Go see it. Yep. Uh, my brother and I have a podcast. For those that don't know, uh, it's the Bancroft Brothers Animation Podcast. Check it out on iTunes and we talk about stories like this like about working on the films at Disney and such I love thanks for having me on your show oh absolutely and let me know if you ever need a voice actor yeah you got one right here I know with a memory too there you go <laughs> we'll see you guys later bye be our guest <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>